you know, our community's history, it, it makes up the history of American history. So, you know, Kenosha is unique. It's, it's special, it's a special place. Kenosha went from an agrarian town, a town that was focused on agriculture, uh, and then it went into this period of industrialization. Kenosha, Wisconsin, the industrial city, built on a solid foundation of enterprise and initiative. And we had these huge businesses, huge factories open up here and provide jobs for people. And since that time, it has, it has since deindustrialized in a sense, and has shifted into uh, a different, different city. We were a community that made stuff. That's who Kenosha was, and that's changed. We need to be able to understand where we came from. I think that's a, in history, is an important part of who we are in understanding what the community has become. Very early on in the 1850s, we had a wagon company open up, the Bain Wagon Company. Those wagons were produced uh, here in Kenosha and they were shipped around the world. And uh, that Bain Wagon Company really put Kenosha on the map. People moved off the farms, moved to Kenosha and other industrial communities along the lake to uh, better their lives, to find a place where they could have a steady job and make a steady income. Oh, they made fire trucks here, they made cars, they made instruments, bed mattresses. Um, we had wire rope that was made here by a company called McQuite. And uh, they put wire rope on the astronaut suits um, that went into outer space. So we, we've, we have products around the world, we have products out of this world. Um, and it's, it's really remarkable. 1902, Thomas B. Jeffrey mass-produced the first car in Kenosha, the first mass-produced car, the Rambler, um, the Jeffrey Rambler. That was the second mass-produced car in the whole country. You know, during this time, AMC was really the fourth largest automaker in the country. You had the big three in Detroit, and then you had this, you know, this little engine that could in Kenosha. I think that's the best way to put it. So these engines we were able to save um, from the factory, from the automobile factory. Um, a lot of these came from AMC, some of them came from Chrysler as well. And these are the last engines off of a particular line. Um, so as the line was closing, they would have all their factory workers, all the people that worked on that line to sign the engines. Um, so it's incredible to look at the amount of signatures on each engine and think about you know that many people had a hand in making these. Um, and for us, it's a great visual about the jobs that were here in Kenosha. Um, we have people that come in uh, probably on a weekly basis that either come find their names, find their families' names. Um, it's, it's kind of you know, a neat memorial to what we had here. At its heyday, AMC was employing almost 15,000 people in Kenosha. That's, that's a huge number for a town of about 80,000 at the time. The Kenosha I grew up in was a Kenosha that was a one industry town. There were a lot of factories, but it was one very large industry. And when cars didn't sell, half of the, the employees were laid off. There was no work. There wasn't money flowing through the community. Gerald Greenwald announced that automobile production would cease sometime in 1988. The decision to close the Kenosha plant was irrevocable. We and they are excited about this project. The community responded very well, I think, by redoing the lakefront, which was a big factory, and making a recreational place out of it. And it, that vision has, uh, has, uh, has supported the community over the last 40 years. So you look out the window here, you know, in downtown Kenosha, you can see Lake Michigan, there are walking paths. Um, there's a lot of great little restaurants and coffee shops, and you've got museums, you have opportunities to go sailing, um, opportunities to go to the, you know, waterfront and hang out at the beach, whatever that might be. So I think that communities, especially the city of Kenosha, have been really smart in how they've changed what their downtowns look like. The lake itself changes with the seasons. 
It changes daily. It changes when the sky changes. In itself, it just makes a beautiful, it's not a landscape, it's a seascape, really. That all adds to the, the beauty of the parks. This is the heart of the community right here on the lakefront. It has given the community a sense of pride, a sense of place, and we are very grateful to the people who planned that. You know, businesses and people go hand in hand, right? A business doesn't want to be somewhere where there's not a strong workforce and there's not a good population that they can be drawing upon to work there. And businesses also don't want to be in an area where people don't want to live. And so I think that economic development, you know, and quality of life and livability, all of that kind of goes hand in hand. You need to feel like you're part of something, right? So you want to be able to go out and walk around and see other people, maybe run into your neighbors and just feel that vibrancy of an area that people want to be. And I think obviously Lake Michigan is a great place to centralize or focus a lot of that. People are drawn to the water, they're drawn to the lakefront. Lake Michigan is pretty iconic and associated with this area and Wisconsin as a whole. Um, so by creating those public spaces where people can gather and really experience that together, I think is really important. It's just a, a place for everyone. You know, I think that people that don't honor their history or take it into consideration when making decisions for the future, um, you know, communities may suffer because of that. So I think it's important to know where we came from, um, what came before us, and it helps us with that foundation of how we grow into the future. This lakefront and the neighborhood that is created, the place of joy for the community and for visitors coming and sitting and watching the boats and walking around and having the breeze off the lake this is a spectacular place we're very proud that we made it